in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hello guys welcome to sas with service now this is service now notify and tulio implementation training one of the important point for any organization is reaching out to the right people on right time to work on the issues which might impact their business and treat it with critical priority this will help them to get the speedy resolution and minimize the business impact in this training you will learn how can you configure notify and tulio to send the communication from service now if your organization is using service now and want to send communications for emergency condition or high priority issues then this is the right place as notify and tulio are the right solution for speedy communications and when i talk about speedy communications that means it should be via call phone call or it can be via sms emails are something which normally people doesn't read every time but if i talk about call if i talk about sms that's something i would say kind of a speedy uh, speedy way of communicating with the people what is notify notify is an application in service now which provides support for sms and voice channels in service now to communicate with internal or external people of organization it also provides out of the box apis and workflow which can be used by developers to configure the communication on the basis of different events activate notify in order to use notify application you need to activate it in your instance as it does not come by default so this is the plugin notify which can be activated for this application once you will activate this plugin there are two other plugins which will automatically be activated if they are not already active one is sms preferences and another one is e164 compliant number now why we have this e164 compliant num phone number now this is something that all the phone numbers so basically whatever communication we are going to send for example to we will call a number or we will uh, send a sms to a particular number now that something number should be e164 when i talk about e164 that means that number should not have any kind of hyphen any kind of comma like we normally mention phone numbers in our daily life that's what we provide those numbers or mention somewhere but it should not have any kind of dot comma spaces it should be just just one number if i talk about for example there is a number called 9999 normally we put like 99 hyphen 99 but in that case an e164 compliant phone number should be for example you have a company a country code plus 91 and then you can mention 99 again 99 no spaces no hyphen no comma that's what you called e164 compliant phone number legacy notify if you have older version of service now you might see legacy notify application however service now has deprecated this legacy notify application and that means service now does not recommend to use legacy notify so i would recommend that if you already have legacy notify you should migrate it to the new one which we are going to talk about in this particular training and i'm not going to talk about legacy notify further as it is not basically supported or i would say not recommended notify application service now comes up with an application called notify which is basically used to manage and configure notify features or whatever functionalities we have in notify application that is something you can configure in this application let's see in my personal developer instance this is my personal developer instance now if i type in application navigator 
I type notify, you will see this application. That means that I have already activated this application, the plugin for notify. And that's the reason you are able to see this application in my personal developer instance. Let me show you the plugin which we were talking about. So if I come over here and I just go to plugins, and I click on plugins. This will open the list of plugins which you have in your instance or which you can install or which you already have in your instance. And if I search for notify, And yep, you can see over here. So we have this plugin and this is what we were talking about. So if in your organization, you want to install and utilize this notify uh, application, uh, the features of notify application, then you have to activate this plugin. So you have to go to plugins, activate it, and then you will be able to see that application which we were talking about, that is notify application. So let's go back to our application. So here is the application. Now the first module in this application is numbers, where basically you have the numbers which will be used to trigger the communication like SMS or the call. Now the record is generated automatically over here. That means you, you can see, I don't have any new button. So this will be generated. We will see, I will show you the practical live example that how exactly uh, phone numbers are getting generated in this particular table. Now, one thing, one, one important thing is that, that you can, de you can definitely, you cannot create a racket, but you can definitely edit it, but not all the fields in this particular table or that particular racket, you can definitely edit, but I will show you later. Then we have number groups. Now, this is something, basically, if you want to create different buckets and group, basically, numbers and workflows for different kind of, I would say, actions or activities. Like you can see, we have conference call group, we have notify on task group, we have on-call on group. Now, these are different, different workflows. As you can see here, there are different workflows associated with these groups. Now, if I open one of these, so for example, if I open this one, you can see we have different workflows associated like which which kind of workflow i should initiate if i will have incoming call workflow now these are definitely static but workflow it, it can be different for task it can be different for conferences it can be different for for example on call schedules so that's something different that's how you can create different groups as of now you have just three out of the box number groups but you can create as per your requirement as you can see we do have that new button over here and I can create a new group as well. And at the same time, if I open this one, you will see here it says notify phone numbers. Now one group can be associated with one notify basically uh, one number. I think you can definitely have uh, multiple phone numbers here because if you will have multiple numbers, you can definitely add it. But I think one number would be associated with only one group. That is basically kind of the mandatory thing I would I would say. But I will show you those records as well because as of now, because I just installed this particular plugin, so I don't have any demo data. But I will show you the practical example in this session, so you will have clear understanding, basically crystal clear understanding about notify implementation. Now the next module we have is provider selector. Basically here you mention the conference provider or a phone number to be used as choices for initiating a conference. That's what you can mention over here. Now I won't show you the practical demo for this particular example. Uh, I think this is something we won't use because a lot of, lot of I would say use cases have to be done for, for a real environment like for your organization but I just have demo instances so I cannot show you all the examples but you will still get an idea that how exactly you can you, you can implement notify in your organization then we have calls now here you will have different modules 
basically which tracks basically different different actions we have taken for example and different activities for example calls this will track all the calls which were triggered with notify whether it was incoming or outgoing that you can see over here then you have conference calls you can track recordings if you have recorded those notify conferences call that's something you can see over here and you can also see messages so if you have sent messages your system have sent messages maybe they have you have received it to your to the same number then definitely you can see those records over here then if I go a little bit bottom here you have administration section in which you can configure different configurations like Tulio direct configuration now this is to send communication via Tulio, which I will show you soon. Next is SMS preference configuration. So you can configure the preferences of SMS. Now this is kind of similar to provider selector. However, this is just for SMS. And the last one is notify properties in which you can update and sub behavior of some of the functionality of notify the, the features you can see these are the limited properties you have not much of properties but that you can enable or mention some data or value in this properties to change or update the behavior tulio let's learn about what is tulio and why we need it with notify and how can you configure it to send the communication with the help of notify what is tulio Tulio is a communication platform which allows developers to make and receive phone calls, send and receive text messages, and perform other communication functions using its web services APIs. Notify is a feature of ServiceNow, and ServiceNow is not a telecom service provider. So in order to send communication via call, or SMS we need a different system which can be used to call or SMS to different people of an organization which should be integrated with ServiceNow that's how you can send that communication because as you know ServiceNow just send notification that means email notification you can send SMS as well but that is also with a different configuration and that is basically you called as email SMS configuration but if I talk about overall functionality, ServiceNow can send only email notification. But if you want to send, if you want to call someone, if you want to trigger SMS from ServiceNow, then you have you need some kind of feature or some kind of third party system which can be integrated with ServiceNow and then you can use that to trigger those communications. Notify and Tulio. ServiceNow already has partnership with Tulio and already developed out of the box integration to use Tulio with Notify. The new users of ServiceNow can utilize this integration to send the communication in their organization. In order to implement effective communication from ServiceNow for various incidents or events, Notify and Tulio are the best out of the box solution. That means ServiceNow has already given you that feature, ready feature. So you don't have to think about that what service provider, how I have to call my service provider. You don't have to worry about it because Tulio is a platform of communication which is just being integrated with Notify in ServiceNow and then you can use the power of both the application to initiate different communication. You can call someone, you can send SMS to someone basically for any priority incident or different kind of issues or emergencies that's what this integration is and as I mentioned you definitely need to implement or you should implement if you really want to make effective communication so rather than looking for any other solution I would definitely recommend because this is totally out of the box notify and Tulio would be the best solution for sending communication for calls and SMS to your to basically employees or your of your organization or maybe the external people as per the use case you have notify and Tulio driver features service now has notify Tulio driver which is basically the actual integration component. There are three major features of this driver. 
You can send and receive messages. You can send and receive calls. You can start and manage conferences. So these are the major features. So if I give you an example that you got the priority one incident in your organization and maybe there's a guy who is on holiday and maybe his just phone is on and maybe there's no on-call person today and you have to initiate that message that everybody, all the important people should get that SMS that, hey, there is a priority one. And that's how you can utilize Notify and Tulio driver to initiate those communications. This integration will be really helpful to initiate those communications and send a message or call that person so that you can just reach out to that person and that person can join the calls or, or join the conferences as per the use cases or as, as per the incident or, or situation you will have in the organization. Tulio plugin. Before you can use Tulio with Notify, you need to enable it with the help of plugin in service now. And the plugin is notify hyphen Tulio direct driver. And you can see it says install and is again, I have already installed in my personal developer instance as well. Tulio account. Even you will activate the Tulio plugin, you still cannot use Tulio to send communication as you should have an account in Tulio. I would say that's kind of an important piece, the prerequisite in order to use Tulio with Notify in service now. So overall, for your organization, you have to purchase an enterprise subscription with Tulio. If you want to send the communication, if you really want to use this SMS or call feature. Now for this demo, because I have to show you the practical demo as I was talking about. I will create a free account on this Tulio uh, website. So I will create a free account so that I can show you how exactly it is being integrated with Notify and how you can use it in your daily use cases from your customer or clients. You can access Tulio.com in order to register your account. So if I do Tulio.com, press enter. Maybe I have given incorrect name. I will do it again. This time it should be fine. Yep. So this is Tulio.com where I, I will basically sign up and create my account so that I can utilize the service and I can also give the demo to you in this particular training. But if, as I mentioned, for your organization, you have to register, basically you have to get the enterprise account, which I'm, I'm sure that you cannot do. You definitely need to go uh, uh, basically with a proper process so that you can get the account registered. So in order to do the registration, what I have to do, I have, I have to click on the sign up button. So I will click on sign up, which will open up basically a page to sign up here. It will ask me basically some of the information. So maybe I will just type SAS and I will just do now. So I will give the email address. So you can give your uh, personal email address as well. So we have given the email address and I will give the password now. And then I can just click on this one. So I will just select the terms. Uh, it says enter at least four, uh, 14 characters. So that's fine. I can do like this, like this. So I will click on start your free trial. Now I will do never for this site. Now you will see this page where it will ask you to verify the email. Now you definitely have to verify email and your phone number as well. Maybe your personal phone number, you have to verify it. Now what I will do, I will just quickly verify it. Once you will verify in your email inbox, then you will be routed to this particular page where you have to verify phone number as well. So I will just provide my personal phone number so that I can show you this demo. So I will just provide my number and I will just click on verify. If I will click on verify, 
it will send me a verification code which I need to enter. So you will receive a verification code and you have to enter. So I will just mention the verification code and then I will click on submit. Once you will click on submit, you will see the main screen, the main console. But as of now, you just need to provide some information over here as well. So maybe I will just do, do you write code? Yes, in Python, because that's my, um, that, that's what I have learned Python as well. So I will just click on skip to dashboard and then you will see the main console. Now, basically Tulio basically charges you for every, every call or every SMS. So, but in your trial account, you get free credits, which you can use for the testing for demo purpose. That's something you can do. But as of now, you cannot, you can still not do anything because you have to first get the trial number. In order to get the trial number, you have to click on this, get a trial number, and this will populate that this is the trial number. Do you want to select this number? And if you will click on, choose this number then this number will be populated selected on your main screen you will see that it will be reloaded and you can see we got this number from Tulio to send the communication and and to to make the calls to send the sms to different people of your organization but this is just for demo purpose as of now so that now this is ready to send the communication but now i will do the configuration so let's do the configuration in service now notify to connect this account with notify so if i go over here and i go to tulio direct configuration if i go over there you can see as of now i cannot edit anything the reason behind it it should be in this scope so i will just select the tulio scope so i will select it and then it will allow me to provide the data so you can see i have this accounts sid account token this auth token how can i get this data now this data will be provided by tulio so if i come over here and i have this account sid i can copy this come over here put it like this and then i have auth token i will come here copy this this is the auth token i will come over here and then i will just paste it that's it and then I will click on connect. If I will click on connect, you will see a pop up that, hey, connected, connected to Tulio. That means connection is successful. Now what I can do, I can basically uh, do a testing whether this connection is successful or not. Now you can also see one thing, the number which we just got registered. So the number is basically mentioned over here, same number which we got from Tulio, you will see in this particular section. So now what I will do, I will just do a quick testing whether it has been connected successfully or not. So if I will click on this button, test callbacks, so if I click over here, you will get two options. You can do the testing with calling. You can do the testing by SMS as well. So I will just select SMS. Now here I will provide my personal number so that I can just send an and basically a message. So I will do here, I will just mention the mobile number, my personal mobile number so that I can show you that on the screen. So I'm going to record my mobile screen as well so that I can show you the same message. So I will just do, I will not change it. Maybe I will just uh, mention this is from SAS now. That's it. That's what I have mentioned. And I am going to click on. Now, if I will click on initiate test SMS, that means I will get the SMS once I will click this button. So let me click on this button. So I will click on this. It says it is successful. It was sent successfully. I should have received that SMS. So you can see the screen. I'm sharing the mobile screen as well. And you can see I have received the message sent from Tulio trial account. This message is to test if Tulio can reach out to ServiceNow instance. Please ignore this message. That's and you can see this is from SAS now. That was the basically custom uh, uh, message we added in our account in our in our testing. And that's how you can do testing. So testing is successful. Now I will click on close. Now at the bottom, you can see some advanced configuration of Tulio. 
Now, these are something related to Tulio Copilot features to improve SMS delivery with phone number, like using multiple phone numbers to send high volume messages and content intelligence. So for example, you can see over here, like content intelligence to automatically format every message without writing the custom code that you can see intelligence SMS handling. So I will not, I won't, I will not show you in this particular demo, but I just wanted to uh, inform you and update you that this is what the feature we have, which you can utilize in your implementation for your customers and clients and implement in your organization. So another we have here advanced voice features as well. Now this is something you can enable. I don't think this will be enabled. These features, these advanced features will be enabled directly with our trial account. I think it has to be enabled directly uh, with enterprise account. Like you can see, it also mentions the messages over here. It says um, using Cobalt, uh, we may, uh, may have an associated cost. And that's the reason it is asking you to contact to use support. But we are just using, I think uh, we are using trial account so I won't be able to show you uh, in this particular demo but this is how you can also implement in your organization now if I show you one thing which I was talking about earlier so let me sh go to notify and if I click on this numbers you will see that the same number which we have just got from Tulio will be automatically added over here. You can see this is my number which I got from Tulio. And you can see here we have number owner as well. And that was Tulio Direct as I mentioned earlier. This is something created automatically. But you can still edit something. Not everything. You cannot edit this number. You cannot edit the owner. But if I open this racket. You can see I cannot edit these fields. These are read only fields, but I can still edit this notify group. That means I can add it to the number group. So, and as I mentioned earlier that you can have one number with one group only. That means one number can only have one notify group, but I think one group can be added to multiple numbers. That is definitely possible, but one number would only have one notify group. And if I click on this you will see that I can select those three groups which are available in this module these are notify phone number groups that's how you can configure over here notify workflow activities service now provides out-of-the-box notify workflow activities which you can use to basically manage calls and SMS messages in notify most of the activities will be enabled and can be added for notify call table. That means if your workflow will be selected for notify call table, then only those activities will be enabled and you will be able to use them. However, there are still two workflow activities which you can still use even if you will select any other table. And you can see over here, one is call and another is send SMS. Now let me show you the practical example in my personal developer instance that how exactly you can use this workflow activity like one of these but you will use as I mentioned SMS in my personal developer instance and how I will receive that SMS in my mobile. So if I go to my personal developer instance over here now before showing this demo I still want basically maybe I need to create an account where I have to provide my own phone number but that's something that's how I can use it to show you this demo because that's how system will utilize because this number so this number is just for communication but we have to send this uh, these communication these SMS or phone calls to recipients that means somebody has to receive it to the employees and where exactly though your employees data would be in sys user table and where the phone number would be in sys user table so in that case what I will do I will quickly create an account uh, maybe I'll do sys user dat uh, or or I will just maybe use the existing user maybe Apple tutor let's use use this particular user Apple tutor and I will give it a give it a phone number in his mobile phone section. So I will just give uh, plus nine one. So I will provide my mobile number so that I can show you this demo. And I will click on save. 
So now Able Tutor, this architect basically now have my number. So whatever communication I will send, I will use this number or maybe this user to send that communication. Now, as I mentioned about this workflow activities. So before that, let me just go to incident. What I will do, we will, we will use this basically activities and I will show you this demo in incident. That means I will create incident and I will show you how exactly it can send SMS to any person. So for that, what I will do, maybe I will just take an example that I will use um, maybe short description starts with or maybe for every priority one. Let's do that. Let's let's say if the uh, ticket is priority one, it should send an SMS to a particular number. Or maybe to the per to the to the person which is basically in the assigned to field so in that case what I will do I will quickly go to workflow and if I go to workflow and I come over here so I will create a new workflow and we will use the same activity for send SMS so if I click on new over here I will give it a name so maybe I will give a notify demo now here I will select the table as I mentioned earlier that you can use only two activities with other tables if I go to core as of now you can't see but you have to select the table first then only you can set the, see these core activities of workflow so maybe I will select incident for now and if I select incident and here I will select run the workflow always now here I will select the condition. Now that condition is priority is one critical. The priority is P1 and then I will click on submit. My workflow is created but I still need to add that activity and you will see the number of activities over here now. I will remove it from here. I will put it here and if I scroll a little bit bottom you can see we have these new workflow activities now these activities will only be enabled when you will enable the plugin of notify so what i will do i will use this one send sms that's what we want to do right now so i will just select send sms and i will give it a name so maybe send sms or maybe notify p1 incident now you you can mention here from basically from which number you want this message to be sent so in that case if i select over here you will see the same data notify phone numbers why i have blank the reason you have it's blank here i will tell you why i know the reason why it is blank so i will go to notify again now there's a big reason you will understand that why what kind of configuration we need the reason behind it there is no notify group so what I will do I will select a notify group over here so let's say I will select it for notify on task group because we, that's what we want we want to trigger the communication on the tasks so in that case I will come over here again and this time if I do that yes you can see I have the number now and if I select it so I will select the same number, which is basically my number. I got it from Tulio. And here you can select basically to whom you want to send this notification. So what I will do, I will make it to assign to person. So I will maybe select the fields. Here is the assign to, and we have to select Able Tutor. So what I will do, I will just close this. And that's it. Uh, what about the message? We have message as well. So I can I can mention message as well over here. So maybe let me make it a little bit smaller screen and I can basically mention the method. So hi, this is a P1 incident. Let's do one thing. Let's utilize the fields, custom fields as well. So maybe I will mention here hi and I will do assign to maybe assign to name. Uh, I will get the first name yes if I will do that yep I have got it so I will do like this 
and then this is a p1 incident and and i will mention the number and that number would be you can just mention number and we have number let's search for number yep uh i think let me i think we are seeing some other fields those were user record fields but i ha i want this one yep i got it and you can see i have this number and i will put it like this so this is p1 and i can just do thanks sas now that's it hi it will be first name this is a p1 incident number and it will be right here and that's it i will click on submit and i will just add these transitions till here and i will just maybe just try to click on validate i will see if i have any mistakes no and i will just click on publish now it's a time of testing this so if i come over here and i go to incident and i click on new create new and if i because i have to create new incident so i can put any color i want maybe abel color uh, abel tutor we will not put abel tutor because he he's he's the person who will be assigned to person so maybe i will add somebody else so let's see this one and now here i will just put abel tutor once i will do that so i will just do test for notify and if i click on save let's see what happens uh, again it will not happen anything it will not do anything i have to make it p1 then only my sms will be sent so i will do like this and now i will click on this save which will basically trigger the workflow and with the help of that triggering of workflow it will trigger sms as well so let's see what happens so i will just click so i have clicked on save and let's see if message will be sent so you can see i'm exactly sharing my screen and you can see i have received one message from service now basically with the help of tulio account and if i show you the message in my mobile absolutely you can see the message which i have over here sent from tulio trial account hi abel you can see it is also showing you the name of the person which we have mentioned in the workflow and it says this is a p1 incident and it is also showing the incident number and it says thanks sas now the same type of message which i was showing you on the screen now this is how you send sms and you can utilize the workflow feature to send the notification basically you can also call it you can also trigger the call with the help of this workflow as well notify api service now also provides notify apis which you can use to initiate notify calls and messages with the script you need to use snc.notify class with different methods you can find this information basically on developer side of service now so let me show you the site where you can find all the methods all the apis we have for notify and i will also show you one example by writing a business rule and i will use this api in in my script as well to trigger the sms so let me go to my personal developer instance over here now before i show you the demo i will just show you the site so as you know i think as a developer you must be aware of this website that is developer.servicenow.com and if you will open this website you will be able to see all the apis related to notify where you just click on reference you have to click on this server global if i click on it it will open up the list of all the apis available and if i open this one notify just type notify uh, here you will see the basically api for legacy notify we don't have to see that i will just focus on this one so here we have notify you can see a lot of apis are there and if i click on it you can see we have a lot of apis and the best part is you can also see a lot of examples written in javascript and you can use them in your scripting now in order to show you the demo 
I will just use one example, like one API, so that I can show you how exactly it triggers the message. So if you will get any kind of requirement from a customer or client, maybe it's kind of a custom requirement and you want to maybe send SMS for any priority one issue, maybe for a major incident uh, issue. In that case, you can just trigger the SMS with the help of scripting. So in that case, what I will do, I will click on this particular API, send SMS. So we are going to use this one now because notify is also pretty much new. So what I will do, I will just copy this one just to make sure that I'm putting all the parameters because you can see, because we have to use this send SMS method, but I have to use parameters which I have to mention over here to trigger it. So for that, what I will do, I will just go to my instance. But before that, let me just tell you quickly that what all parameters I need to provide. So you can see it says notify phone number. Now it's the same phone number which you basically get from Tulio. That's something you have to mention over here, which will be kind of a from uh, from number, which will be sent to the uh, basically to the user. So user will see, okay, this is the number I got the message from. Then I have two phone number. Now here you can mention basically the phone number who should get the message. That's something you can mention here, but we will make it dynamic. And then we have a message body. So you can put the uh, body uh, message of the body as well. And then we have source, then we have source record. Now this is something source record that which record we are talking about, which is the source of this particular event. That's something you have to mention over here. Now we will, we will use these parameters and this method, and we will try to trigger an SMS, uh, trigger SMS, and that will be sent to a user. And we will, we will write that script in business rule. So let's, let's go to my instance. So, Here's my instance. What I will do, I will just directly go to business rule. Now I already showed you how it can trigger SMS with workflow, but now I will write a business rule. Now the condition would be, let me just write it here. So I will click on new. The new business rule form is opened, but you can see the application, the scope is being shown as Tulio direct driver, but we have to create this business rule in global scope for incident. So in that case, I will just change the scope and I will make it global. Now, one thing you have to remember, the syntax for scoped application would be different if you want to trigger notification for scoped application table. So in that case, the syntax will be different. But if I would say, uh, if you can, you can definitely find it over here, you have the server global. And if you will select server scoped, you can still find notify as well, notify API and methods, but that will be in scoped. But as of now, I'm showing you this demo with global application. So in that case, I have already selected global and I'm going to create a new business rule. So I will put it here, demo for notify. And I will check this box advanced. Now here I will select after and we will make, make it on insert. And I will just select over here I will select the condition as well. Now condition should be, let's say priority. That's a condition I will mention. And priority would be two. And I will do assign to is not empty because we are going to do the same. We are going to trigger this SMS to the same assigned to user. So in that case, I will do assign to is not empty. I will go here and I will just go to advanced. Now I have to write the script. Now what script you can write here? So as I mentioned, the API that is, but in the meantime, what I will do, I will also copy uh, it. I think I copied, maybe I lost it, but let me just quickly check. So we have server global um, and I can just copy this just to make sure that we are not basically missing any parameter. And I will just put it here and that's it. So I'm, I'm just, I will just remove it soon after writing my script. Now, what you need to do, you have to basically trigger the SMS. Now for triggering the SMS, you will start with SNC dot notify. Now this is for global scope. You will do, then you will do send SMS. Now you have to provide the parameters. Now the first parameter we have is notify phone number, notify phone. That's something you have to provide here and that should be string. And again, so what I will do, I will quickly go to my Tulio account 
and I will copy the number which I have over, over here. You can see this is my number and I will just put it here in the string, paste it and then I will do comma. Next parameter is string to phone number. That means the person who has to receive the message. Now we are going to send this SMS to the same user, Able Tutor, which we already sent with the help of workflow. And we, what we will do, we will make it dynamic so that uh, it, we can change the user. If assigned to is changed, you can still send the net message. So in that case, what I will do here, I will just mention, now it has to be a string. So I will just mention like this, single quotation. I will do plus and I will do current dot assign to dot because now I'm going to basically dot walk to the users table rackets field. So in that case, what is that field? That is mobile underscore phone because that's where we basically mention, I mention my number, my personal mobile number so that I can get the message. So in that case, that's what I have mentioned. So I will do comma. Now you are done with basically the target number. That's something will be picked from this particular string. Now you have to mention message body. How you want to put the message body? Let's put this message body dynamic as well. That means incident number and the short description together. So I will start with again quotation so that it can make the string. And then I will put here current dot number. I can do plus. And then I can do quotation and I will just do colon. I will do plus and then I can do current dot short description and comma. So that's the third parameter. And the fourth and last parameter is glide racket source. So maybe I will just make it a little bit bigger screen so that you can see my whole script properly. So here you can see we have glide racket source. That means and this time our source is current racket. Now, if you are basically doing a glide racket, then you can definitely use uh, G, uh, GR as well. If that's a glide racket object you have created, but as of now, it's a current one, the current object. So I can just put the current one and that's it. You're done with the script. So I will just click on save and this will send SMS to my mobile and I will show you on my screen as well. Now I'm going to do a test. So I will go here, go to incident, click on create new. I will fill the fields. Now here I will provide the sign to because that should not be empty. And I will put the same user where I have put in my number and I will make it priority high like this. So you can see priority is high. That means it will trigger the basically uh, SMS because that's what the condition it will trigger the business rule because that's what the condition we have mentioned. And if your condition will not met, then this will definitely not send the SMS. So I will just put here test for notify API. So I think all conditions are met and now I will click on save. So let's see if I will get the SMS. And you will see my mobile screen and you can see that I have received the SMS for this incident. You can see it says incident number test from Tulio trial account. It says incident number and then test for notify. That means our same notify API, this short description. That's how it sends SMS and you can do this for any kind of event, any kind of condition, even if it's a major incident in priority, if a kind of emergency for not just for incident table, for any table in the system, you can use a lot of notify APIs and utilize to fulfill the requirement of your customer and clients. So this is how you implement Notify uh, in ServiceNow with the help of uh, Tulio and, and you can fulfill the requirement for your customers and clients. So I hope you will you like this video. Please put your comments for any feedback, for any question, uh, like, like my videos, share my videos and do not forget to subscribe to my channels. Thank you and have a great day.